What's up, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I'm here with my first ever Family Empire Houston Season 1, Episode 1 Review. This is Carlos King's new reality show on OWNs. It comes on the OWN Network on Friday nights. So let's get into this review. So let me start off by introducing you to the cast from left to right. You have matriarch of the family, Oscar Reen, who her and her husband started this real estate empire for their family years ago. And these are all of her grandkids. So you have Nicole, then you have Jamisha, and then you have Laquita. And Nicole and Jamisha decided to start the... Braden, I think that's her last name, the Braden Real Estate Company, and it's one of the biggest black owned real estate companies in Houston. Their grandmother and her husband were actually the ones to give Jamisha and Nicole money to go to real estate school and get their license. So they owe everything to their grandparents. Unfortunately, their papa passed away about a year or two ago. Now, Jaquita and Jamisha are sisters. Laquita's husband, Chris, also works at their brokerage as well. Now, Nicole's husband, he does not work for the brokerage. He works somewhere else. I don't know what he does, but he works long, long hours. And right now he's working the night shift. So they're lacking intimacy in their marriage. And based off a clip that we saw on the season premiere episode, it seems like he may have even cheated on her in the past. And I'm looking at her like, you are gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. How you letting a man with titties bigger than yours cheat on you? Absolutely not, absolutely not. They have a daughter together, but like I said, Nicole is drop dead gorgeous and I can't believe she's sitting over there taking whatever it is that she's taking from this man. But I guess we'll learn more about their marriage as the episodes go on. This is Lakeisha. She is half sisters with Nicole and Monet. They have a very kind of like contentious relationship because Lakeisha has a different mother than them. So she didn't live in the household with their father and her half sisters. So they grew up differently. It doesn't seem like they were that close over the years. And they have like a, a kind of weird relationship with one another. So the family all gathers for dinner. And while they're there, Jaquita's husband, Chris, says that Nicole kicked him out the office. And she was like, no, that's not how it went. She says that since he's not basically like in the office and he's not like an agent, that when he does come into the office, that he be playing too much with the agents. And he basically at this point is refusing to come back into the office. And so they decide, you know, we're going to table this conversation for another day. Jaquita feels like she's often put in the middle of her husband and her sister and her cousin and their business. One thing about it, though, whenever they get to talking to her husband, baby, she be right there by his side. She don't say nothing, but she be standing there on ready. Mind you, Jamisha, Nicole, Lakeisha, and Jaquita, they are all considered G2s. They're the second generation of grandchildren of Oscarines. So the G1s and the G2s, they're all sitting around the living room and they ask um, Oscarine, the G2s, about the land that their grandfather said that the G2s could have. And Oscarine doesn't really want to give it to the G2s. She wants to sell the land and pay off her kids' homes. And so the G2s is kind of looking like, mm, you know, we ain't asking for a handout, you know, but we really want to get this land because it's a lot of land and we could do a lot with it instead of just selling it and divvying up the money amongst your first grandchildren. Like, I think this is a missed opportunity. And I agree. I agree 1000% that they should not just sell that uh, that land. They need to build on that land and make money. That is millions of dollars that can come in off of this land. But Oscarine is not budging as of right now. 
So Jermisha and Jaquita have their aunt Nikki to come look at the land because she's Oscarine's agent, her real estate agent. So they go on the land and it's huge. It's on a main street and everything. And we find out that Oscarine bought the land for only $72,000. But as of now, it's been appraised for $865,000. So she'll make like a 700 and something thousand dollar uh, profit off of this land. But Jermisha tells her Aunt Nikki, you know, we could put almost 50 doors on this land. So now Aunt Nikki was like, mm, nah, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 picking up what you putting down. That do sound better than just divvying up this seven hundred and some thousand dollars amongst the G1s. So now she's in, but they have to convince Oscarine and the other G1s to get on board as well. So it's the day of the company photo shoot. And I love the dress that Nicole came in. It was like this drapey strappy kind of dress it was everything so chris is going to take the photos for everybody because he's like their marketing person and lakeisha is going to be his assistant and she says in her confessionals that often throughout her childhood growing up she felt left out because she didn't share the same mother as her sisters. And she said that, you know, they would leave her out of photographs and things of that nature. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I feel sorry for her. I feel bad, but I wonder like, what's that about? Because if they shared the same father, like did, was her father not present? It doesn't seem like that's the case. So I'm like, was she not coming over to her father's house growing up where they kept separated? Like I need to know more information because you know, like with me and my sister, me and my brother share the same mother and father. But, you know, we have a half sister that's my father's daughter. But we all grew up together and we all were brought up as, you know, brothers and sisters. It was no step or half or any of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I need more context on like how they were exactly brought up that they don't have this close relationship. Now, mind you, with my situation, when we were younger, we were very close. But once we hit the teen years, me and my sister have not been close like that. We really have not. We barely talk to each other. We, you know, we don't spend holidays with one another. Now, when my father got sick last summer, we all rallied together and you know, were there supporting each other, talking and all of that type of stuff. So like I said, I want to know what's really going on with her relationship with her sister, Nicole and Monet. Once the photo shoot is done, Nicole tells Chris that he needs to come back to the office and Laquita come over to her, honey, stand by her man, stand by your man. <laughs> And he says that he was basically waiting on them to let him know what they wanted him to do. And he says that he doesn't feel respected as the marketing person. And at this point, Jamisha joins the conversation and he says that he wants a contract, basically. And they agree. They they are 100 percent agree on the fact that they need a contract with him because if he's contracted, then there ain't no excuses of when he get mad or whatever the case may be, they will have him under contract. Either that night or the following day, Jaquita has her sister, Jamisha, Nicole, and Lakeisha over for a little crab boil, crawfish boil, or whatever. So at first, it's just Jaquita, Jamisha, and Lakeisha there. And they all sitting around eating and drinking and talking. And they talk to Lakeisha about how she's feeling since her mom passed away. So not only did she lose her mom, but she lost her grandfather, you know, their, their, their grandfather around the same time. And she says, you know, it's hard. You know, she's the only one without a mom. And she says that she needs the support from them. And they're like, you know, well, why don't you be this open like you are with us to Nicole? And so she was like, yeah, you're right or whatever. So Nicole arrived. They continue to laugh and eat and all of this stuff. And at one point, Nicole is showing them how to pose for pictures. 
And Jaquita makes this comment. She was like, it's no wall over here. Y'all got this wall over there. Basically referencing the conversation that they had with Lakeisha before Nicole got here. Basically saying like, me and my sister good. Y'all the one with y'all issues over there. So Nicole was like, what that mean? Like she immediately is on guard. Like, hmm? Like where that come from? Like what you talking about? So she side eyeing them. And so they tell her about the conversation that they had with Lakeisha. Well, Jamisha tells her the conversation that they had with Lakeisha and how when she's around them, she's jovial, she's laughing, she knows she's opening up to them and all of that stuff. But when Nicole comes around, she puts this wall up and they also say that they can't joke with them because they're the sensitive sisters. And I was like, ooh, this got deep real quick. <laughs> so Nicole was like, we're not the sensitive sisters. We grew up different, but y'all just took a dig at the wall. You talking about strengthening, strengthening the relationship, then you make a mockery of it. Like, so she's upset now at this point because like, why did you feel the need to say that? Now, mind you, they've been drinking Jaquita seems like she was a little sauce, you know what I'm saying? And just got the talking at the mouth. So instead of being like, you know, you're right, I'm sorry, or whatever the case may be, Jaquita started laughing. <laughs> she ain't cursed. She just kept on laughing. So this made Nicole even more upset. And she says, you know what, that really just hurt my feelings. And she says, you know, that's a sensitive subject. And you've never expressed to me the things that you have expressed to them. She says this to her sister. And she was like, and maybe I haven't created this safe space for you to do so. But I am still very hurt that they made light of the situation because for you and I, it's a serious matter. So I'm about to go because I didn't like that. Y'all have a good night. And baby, <laughs> Jaquita said, you have a good night. <laughs> And then Nicole was like, thanks for the crawfish. And Jaquita says, you're welcome. She said, I am not about to run in behind nobody. So she's the, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about you feel how you feel type of person or whatever. Jamisha, however, ran behind her and was like, Nicole, you know, Nicole. She was like, no, nah, y'all take this mic off me. I'm done. Her sister just sat there looking at the crawfish. And then the episode went off. I will say that the series premiere episode of Family Empire Houston was really good. It was really entertaining. I love the family dynamic of it. Um, I love to see a black successful family, especially in the real estate industry, because I love real estate shows. I'm currently watching um, Ryan Serhant, so a uh, new show on Netflix, which is really good as well. But I really like uh, what Carlos has done with this show when I watch the trailer at the end of the episode. However, I was a little miffed that we're going to be focusing on marriages and family relationships and all of this type of stuff. And I just don't want to see another black family or black couples get on television and have their marriage is tarnished their families tarnished and infighting and all of that stuff even though these are real life situations that everybody deals with I just it's 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 becoming a little draining so I hope that's not the main focus and we continue just to focus on the real estate aspects with a little drama mixed in you know what I'm saying I don't want this show to become focus on the drama like love and marriage Huntsville became and less about the business side of it you know what I'm saying hopefully that doesn't happen but this is a beautiful family um they're funny they're gorgeous um that house that uh who was that Nicole showed to a surgeon wasn't that Nicole or was that Jamisha I forgot it was one of them that showed this surgeon this beautiful 1.4 million dollar home it was gorgeous I'm really liking this show. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the show down below in the comment section. I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Who are you liking the most so far? Who is your least favorite so far? Let's talk about it all. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.